Alrighty, greetings everybody. This is Arizona Og with Hunt Fish 4x4 with another Into the Kitchen cooking special. Again, today we are preparing dove meat. Uh, in my last video, we made some dove chimichangas enchilada style. Every time I make an enchilada sauce, I always tend to have an excess. So I'm going to show you today how you can get rid of it. And how we're going to get rid of it is by making some dove chili con carne. Now, all we're going to start by doing is taking our nice, beautiful pieces of dove and then julienning them into nice strips like this. Usually tend to get like two to three strips per breast. Um, after we achieve that, which we already did, we're going to go ahead and meet you over at our frying pan. Alrighty. So now we got our pan here. Just again, another medium sized pan with a nice thin layer of some olive oil here. Starting to get heated up. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and cook our dove breast that we already had pre julie and sliced here. Go ahead and add that into the pan now. Ah. So while that's heating up, we'll go ahead and take a look over here. Here we have that leftover enchilada sauce. It's actually cooled down. I just pulled it from the fridge. So we're just going to let that sit out to the side. And also in my prior video, when this was still in like its liquid form before we thickened it to make our enchilada sauce, I went ahead and I took a cup of the chili juice so we can use here. So all we're really going to try to achieve is we're going to let this fry up. Once it starts to fry up a little bit, we're going to go ahead and season it. Uh, nothing crazy. I think we're going to be using like a cumin, salt, and pepper. Um, after we get this nice and about done, we'll go ahead and add our thicker sauce here that was refrigerated. We'll let that mix with everything and then we'll let, we'll go ahead and add our runny sauce. We'll let everything mix together and thicken it as we need. Also give tastes along the way to see if you need to add a little bit more seasoning or what have you. But as for now, all we're going to do is fry up this nice dove meat. While it's still uncooked like this, we're going to go ahead and add our seasoning. So again, we're not doing anything crazy. Keep it as simple as you can. Again, I like a lot of pepper, so we are going to apply liberal, very liberal coat of pepper. Nice. Good heavy amount of pepper. Next we will be adding a little salt. This is some Himalayan pink salt. Whatever salt you got is fine. Every time it gets around steam, and never wants to let any out. And again, not too fond of this spice, but when I'm going for something like this, I tend to use it. I have a little bit of cumin here. And again, this is a very strong seasoning, so we're not going to add a lot. Just a light brush like that over the top. Done. This is all the seasoning I'm going to be adding. Again, we did season the chili. And we will do so also as it's cooking. Again, it's always good to give taste and find out what you need a little more of. Stuff you could do without. Alright. Well, we're getting pretty close to uh, adding our chili here. We're going to let them cook to where they're pretty much all the way cooked all the way through before we add our chili. Because once we add our chili, it's really just get the chili to where we want it. Well, get the chili to where we want it. Warm it up, season it to taste, and then we're eating. Again, this is really simple. Um, if you would like to watch my prior video to see how I make the chili, um, it's actually really simple. All you're going to do is just add a little bit of chili powder to some water. I didn't use chili pods. Again, there are more traditional ways of doing this, but I'm just showing you the way I do it. In my prior video, if you want to take a look at that, I'll leave a link in the description so you can see how I achieve that sauce. And if you wanted to make that straight, you know, skip the chimichangas and just come to this recipe, all you would do is just make the sauce a little thicker. The enchilada sauce coats the chimichanga, so you want it a little bit more runny than what we're going to do here. This is actually going to be a nice thick sauce that's going to have a lot of body to it. Because all we're going to be doing is making little tacos out of this and things like that. And I'm telling you, this is probably one of my favorite ways to cook the dough. 
But again, this is just a simple recipe just to help you get rid of that excess chili. Again, you can make everything from scratch to start to finish. You're just trying to achieve this dish. But like I'm saying, every time I make an enchilada sauce, I always tend to have an excess. So I go ahead and do something like this just to, you know, not be wasteful and get rid of that chili. Because if you make something that tastes really good, you put a lot of effort into making it taste good. It's always feels, makes you feel so bad when it goes to waste. Well, I waste it when you can eat it. These dough, these pieces of dough are actually looking pretty close to done. I'm gonna drain out some of this juice, not a lot. Go ahead and do that now. Alrighty, we actually drained out most of it. You can see we still have some remnants of that liquid on the bottom. You can hear it actually charring up the bottom of my pan. So yeah, every time with game two, you always want to make sure you're thorough in your cook. I like to give it a little poke once. You feel dove get a little tough like that. Usually a good tell sign that it's done. You don't want to overcook it too much well because then it starts to get too chewy. So right now we're going to go ahead and add our chili here. I'm going to lower this down. Now again, if you're dealing with just straight a straight liquid like this, all you would do is just add the liquid in. I like to add it just to where it tops the, the meat, you don't want too much chili, and then you would add the roux, which is just an oil and flour mixture to thicken it up to get to the thickness you desire. So again, we went ahead and put it on a very low heat. And here we have, again, our pre-made enchilada sauce from the last video. We're going to add this in first. Wasn't too much, but again, like I'm saying, I don't like to be wasteful. As you can see, it's all like jelly. We'll let that warm up. And I'll show you what we kept that little excess of the other two before. I'll find that. Now we'll go ahead and turn it up a little bit just so we can get this chili nice and warm. Just gonna stir that in. Again, I'm only doing it this way because I had that chili left over. Again, you can always just make it from the pure liquid and condense it down, thicken it up and add it in. Also, more traditional ways of doing it, I did use chili powder. You can always boil your chili pods and make it all from scratch, but, well, I guess we cheated. Still tastes really good, though. So as you can see, I mean, you could be fine with that, but I want a little bit more chili here, so we're going to go ahead and add that liquid I was talking about. And again, we're going to add it, see how much darker in contrast it is. Again, don't, don't get too ahead of yourself. See how now it just turned it all runny? I think that's a perfect amount of chili I'm going to want to add. So we are going to add a root to this to thicken this up. Um, I think, you know what, we'll just go ahead and add the rest of it. It's not a lot. See, so this runny liquid is what you would get if you were cooking it straight. So now we're just going to let that cook up. That. Get nice and warm. And while that's warming up, we'll go ahead and get a nice roux made up for you guys. Alrighty, so we actually significantly lowered the heat. I don't want this to condense down any more than what it is because I want a nice base to this. We went ahead and made our roux, which is just our oil and flour mixture. See how it's just slightly running off? This is what's going to help thicken it. So again, be very careful with this stuff. This stuff can get extra really quick and make it very clumpy. So add little by little. Give it a stir and then see if you achieve the thickness that you're trying to go for. So we're just going to fold that in. Give it a nice mix around. Uh, it's still pretty runny, so we'll add a bit more in, in a second. Also, too, because we're revamping the chili, you might have to add a little extra seasoning in with it. But that's why it's always good to give it a taste. See how it's still just a little runny? I want it to be pretty thick, so we're going to go ahead and add a little more. Now 
Again, always add little by little because like how I'm saying, this stuff can thicken up really fast. Go ahead. Higher that heat again. Just to help it cook and stay warm. I think I'm pretty close to the consistency that I want it. Like to just scoop that. See? I'm gonna go ahead and grab a tasting spoon and give her a taste and see what she's missing. See if she's thick enough, see if she's not thick enough. Go ahead and give a look. But this is our chili and this is the main thing that we're focusing on. This is what gives our dish its body. Mmm. Oh wow. That is actually really, really good. I'm actually gonna call this done. This consistency is actually pretty thick and just where I want it. Alrighty. No, honestly, that, with that taste right there, I don't think I need to add anything at all. It actually came together very perfectly and I'm very happy with this. So again, real simple, really simple to do this start to finish. Again, I just like to do this to get rid of that leftover enchilada sauce that I had. Mighty fine dish, always worth making, always going to taste great. We're going to go ahead and uh, warm us up some corn tortillas and then we're going to dig in. We'll tune in with my plate. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Alrighty, so here we have our finished product. Again, all I did was just warm up some corn tortillas and garnish with a little bit of cheese. But again, amazing dish. Always tend to do this when I got some dove meat. Always good to use whatever excess chili you had left over. Don't let nothing go to waste. Again, this is not the only way I, that you can do this. Um, by no means is this traditional at all. So all you people who are traditional about it i don't want you getting at me i would love to hear how you do it so feel free to comment down below but again this is just the way i do it I'm not saying this is a rule you can take what i have as advice and that's all i'm really doing it for but other than that i would love to hear how you guys do it feel free to tweak it variate it make it your own you're the one eating it so however you'd like to do it but again nice melted cheese over the top um i'm not gonna take a bite on camera again I'll save you all the funny faces and the mmm and ahs. But the only thing I can tell you is this is something I do often. I do very much like this dish. And I hope you do too. So, again, hope it looks good to you guys. Hope you guys like it. And, well, thanks for watching. Again, this is Arizona Og with Huntfish 4x4 with another Into the Kitchen cooking special. And, well, I'm about to enjoy. So, thank you.